Uh, we're uh, starting today with uh, the conversation held yesterday between the U.S. President and the President of Nigeria. We're joined on the phone this morning by Gaba Shew, who is the Senior Special Assistant on Media and Publicity to the President. Good morning and thank you for joining us today. Uh, about this call, it, it came as a surprise to many, <coughs> but then did we have enough notice, or was it a sudden call from the president of U.S. to uh, President Buhari? Well, uh, the, the call was at the instance of the president of the United States of America. Uh, was it expected? Well, Nigeria is an important country on the continent, uh, diplomacy and politics. So therefore, yeah, it shouldn't surprise anyone that uh, uh, President Trump made the choice of making the first uh, African call to the Nigerian president. So what does this mean to Nigeria on the first hand and to Africa in general now that uh, uh, President Trump is reaching out to Africa for the first time? Well, you know that uh, through uh, the period of his campaign and all of that, much has been said about uh, his uh, lack of attention uh, for African affairs. He said uh, not much really throughout that period. And uh, I, I wouldn't say we panicked, but quite a lot of people were curious about what he wished to do with Africa and Africans. Now, it's important then that he chose uh, to speak to the Nigerian president and to po focus on an important issue uh, that, that uh, of, of uh, significant concern to Nigerians and to Africa, which is terrorism. Well, you, you, when, when, you, uh, when that conversation held, I mean, uh, part of the statement we also saw being put out there is that he spoke about uh, setting a new bill, assisting Nigeria to get arms. Does that mean that uh, sooner rather than later we should expect to be able to acquire arms from the U.S. to prosecute a uh, war on terrorism? Well, uh, certainly it uh, opens a new vista, and uh, it is significant that this offer has been made. You know that... Uh, Going back in history, Nigeria had challenges procuring weapons to prosecute this war. At some point, actually, Americans stopped us from buying their weapons. In fact, stopped other countries from, you know, selling to Nigeria. Yes, under uh, the former President Obama, most of the doors that had been shut against our own country had been reopened. Uh, but uh, progress can still be made, and uh, it is very encouraging to hear the new president say that uh, is looking at new opportunities that would uh, ensure that Nigeria is sufficiently armed, you know, for 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 the war against terrorism. Well, were there questions about uh, the uh, the U.S. Leahy law? Because there are those who say, well, uh, that law kind of uh, prohibits U.S. State Department from selling arms to countries who perhaps maybe the military have questions about human rights issues. Did, did it pop up at any time in the conversation? No, I, I don't think there was enough time to talk about everything. But you also know that uh, the Lee law, the issues concerned, and that had been settled uh, quite a while ago uh, under the previous administration, under the pre previous U.S. administration. We also know about uh, the, uh, the the president, the American president's stance on on immigration and and immigrants, the status for for him. He he wants to place America first, and there are quite a number of Nigerians in the U.S. Did you talk along those lines of uh, immigration and what do, what's your views about uh, uh, how he's going to tackle this concerning Nigeria? Well, uh, th there wasn't enough time, uh, enough time to talk about everything. Uh, I think that uh, the point at what will follow uh, is in the invitation that uh, President Trump has extended to President Buhari to come over. Uh, th that's the kind of uh, opportunity that, uh, that uh, would uh, be presented to Nigeria to put all the issues on the table. As for the immigration policies, I think that the, our president has been clear about one thing. The choices made by the Americans as to who to lead them, in this case, um, Mr. Trump, is entirely their own choice. And uh, for good or for ill, they will live with it. We have no business interfering in their own uh, domestic affairs. As to the countries that had been barred, they, they have been clearly specified that uh, these were the countries about which they had concern. Nigeria did not feature in that list. 
And so therefore, I don't think it is a matter of significant concern for us. I, I've heard you say there wasn't enough time, like two or three times now. How long was that conversation for? I wasn't present when the president, uh, when they held the conversation. Uh, we were just a recipients of uh, um, communication, um, summarizing the conversation that had taken place. Mr. Shaw, are there questions or are there areas that the conversation did not cover that you would have expected to have been taught? Well, I think that uh, it was sufficient from our own point of view that uh, that goodwill has been established. As I said, uh, not just in Nigeria. I think the whole world received uh, Trump with some kind of apprehension. And uh, in our own case, you know, we, we like folded our arms and we watch, watch it uh, to unfold. And I think that it is it must have come as a big relief that uh, this conversation has taken place. It went on very well, and that uh, and that we're looking forward to building an excellent relationship on top of what has been achieved in the past. So n now that uh, he has established uh, a conversation with President Muhammad Buhari, when are we expecting him to visit Washington D.C.? Well, the, the, by, it is by, it will be by mutual consent, uh, convenient to uh, President Trump, convenient to President Muhammad Buhari. I would think that uh, this is an opportunity that is worth uh, seizing with both arms, with both hands, and uh, we do hope uh, that our officials will get down to work to ensure that uh, we draw the maximum benefit that is accruable to our own country from such a close interaction with President Trump. Okay, Mr. Show, I mean, uh, are we going to get the audio of this conversation? No, I don't think so. I don't think it is, uh, it is permitted in diplomacy. I, I think that uh, if we had recorded uh, Mr. Trump in this conversation, it would have offended uh, our diplomatic relations. I, I don't think Americans themselves would have recorded this. I don't think it would have been permitted, president to president. Okay. Uh, Mr. Joe, is, it, is there a possibility that Nigerians who can hear the president talk to them, maybe over a telephone call or a broadcast sometime soon? As a matter of fact, we should be getting ready to see the president in flesh. And uh, that would be as soon as, uh, as, uh, as, uh, as possible. When is it, can you give us a date when that will be possible? No, I don't have a date. But I believe that... Uh, that uh, the president himself um, is looking to being home with his own people. I don't think he's enjoying any longer an extended stay outside there. Th those test results that are being expected, uh, has he gotten hold of them? No, I have no information on that. I believe that uh, if he had received them, he would have been on the plane back home. Well, we know that uh, he also congratulated him on uh, the, uh, the efforts that the country has made to rescue the Chibok girls. Uh, was there any conversation in the line of providing intelligence other than weapons to the country to prosecute this war? No, I, I don't have uh, that uh, detail. However, uh, it is sufficient that uh, Mr. Trump himself has indicated a willingness to help Nigeria push you know, the, the, the successes we have achieved forward. I think that is important for this country. So well, what do we look to uh, perhaps bring up to the U.S., uh, I mean, uh, when you talk about this conversation, this relationship, U.S.-Nigeria relations, there are many who are looking to see how we also intend to take advantage of economic policies and then grow the economy. Are there any areas that we may be talking to the U.S. about when we do visit? Well, you know that uh, uh, obviously our officials will be sitting down to draw a wish list. Uh, however, there are obvious matters of uh, interest, uh, weapons uh, procurement, as you have said, we need uh, every new modern facilities to help our uh, armed forces who are now being invigorated and uh, you know, redirected uh, positively. Uh, obviously, there are matters of, uh, look at all of these issues of uh, recovery of our, our stolen assets, which have been dragging for quite a while. I believe that uh, the president has a, has a plate full when he has the chance to meet uh, President Trump. Did, did that conversation pop up about uh, perhaps the U.S. assisting Nigeria in repatriating stash funds abroad? No, I, I don't think it would have been appropriate also. As I said, uh, I think that it's a bilateral discussion 
at which you will lay it out uh, before everyone. I think this, it was sufficient that uh, they had just a few minutes to converse with one another. How does this uh, new relationship uh, with uh, the uh, American president, how does it rub off on the AGOA protocol? How does it rub off on? On the AGOA protocol. Well, 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 we have uh, uh, an excellent relationship going on between our own countries. Uh, and uh, I know that uh, plans are ongoing to expand the trade along the lines of AGOA. Uh, I, I would believe that uh, when, when the time comes, when, when uh, our officials uh, put down their notes for a meeting, they would they put uh, everything down and uh, a lot of these things will come up. I don't think that it would have been appropriate at this time, uh, given, as I said, uh, the shortness of the time they had uh, to talk uh, on the phone for all of these issues to have been, you know, put out by our own president. Do you foresee the Nigerian government now able to sell uh, crude oil, for instance, to to uh, the U.S. again to resume that relationship? I think uh, uh, some of that is already being talked about. The Minister of Petroleum Resources did say that uh, Americans were intent on buying uh, from Nigeria. And you know, all of the thing about the shell oil has, uh, has, has, has uh, I guess, has slowed down slightly. And uh, crude production by our own countries, OPEC countries, has, uh, you know, on, on an upswing, prices are going up and all of that. So we believe that uh, Nigeria is uh, favored by the United States in terms of uh, trade. And uh, we are hoping that uh, they will look in this direction to t take more of our oil. It is being discussed. All right, so good to know that you say that uh, the country should look forward to receiving the president back in flesh anytime soon. Yeah. Yes. All right, yeah, um, we do hope so, so we're looking forward to that. All right, uh, Gabasho, Special Assistant, Senior Special Assistant to the President of Media and Publicity. Thank you for talking to us today on the program. Thank you, I appreciate it.